Step back in time and join us on an epic adventure as we delve into the discovery of a lost 52-foot, long ancient Egyptian papyrus. Uncovering secrets that have been buried for centuries, this stunning artifact holds a wealth of knowledge and history waiting to be explored. Get ready to be transported to ancient Egypt as we reveal the captivating stories and mysteries hidden within its pages. This is a discovery like no other, so sit back, grab your popcorn, and get ready for an educational and eye-opening journey as we explore the lost 52 feet ancient Egyptian papyrus. First, let's take a look at the importance of papyrus in ancient Egypt. Papyrus was an extremely important material in ancient Egypt. It was used for a variety of purposes, including writing, art, and even as a material for constructing boats. The ancient Egyptians made papyrus by cutting the stem of the papyrus plant into thin strips and then layering the strips perpendicular to each other and pressing them together to form a sheet. Papyrus was used as a writing material because it was cheap, readily available, and could be easily manufactured. Ancient Egyptians used it to record everything from everyday accounts and letters to religious texts and important historical documents. The discovery of a 52-foot-long ancient Egyptian papyrus is therefore a significant find for historians and archaeologists as it has the potential to shed new light on the culture, society, and beliefs of the ancient Egyptians. According to Mostafa Waziri, the Secretary General of the Supreme Council of Antiquities in Egypt, archaeologists have confirmed that a papyrus scroll that was discovered at the Saqqara Necropolis site last year near Cairo does indeed contain texts from the Egyptian Book of the Dead. This is the first time that a complete papyrus has been found in a century. The scroll is known as the Waziri Papyrus because of its naming. Fans of the 1999 film The Mummy know that the Egyptian Book of the Dead plays a vital part in bringing the cursed high priest back to terrify the living. The situation is, of course, quite different in practice. Notably, there is not one magical copy of the Book of the Dead, as depicted in the film. Rather, there were many versions over the centuries, each one distinct, with the choice of spells often tailored to the specific needs of deceased royals and later high-ranking members of Egyptian society. This is notable because the film portrays there being only one magical copy of the Book of the Dead. These books were really compilations of funeral writings and spells intended to assist the departed on their trip through the underworld duat. Their purpose was neither to bring people back from the dead, nor were they sacred works in the same vein as the Bible or the Quran. In the beginning, the hieroglyphics were either painted directly onto the items or engraved directly into the walls of the burial chambers. Images were drawn and spells were inscribed on the interior of coffins, and on the linen shrouds that were used to wrap the corpses of the deceased over the course of history. Coffins were used to bury the dead. The weighing of the heart, often referred to as spell number 125, has its origins in the time period approximately 1475 BC, when it was customary to copy the Book of the Dead onto papyrus. It is widely recognized as being among the most powerful spells in existence. The scholarly community has assigned the number 125 to this spell. Anubis would lead the deceased before Osiris, where they would swear they had not committed any of the 42 listed sins, and their heart would be weighed on a pair of scales against a feather to determine if they were worthy of a place in the afterlife. If the heart was found to be worthy, then the deceased would be allowed to enter the afterlife. If they were deemed worthy, Osiris would grant them entry into the afterlife. There are currently 192 spells that are known, but no single manuscript contains all of them. Among these spells, there are several protective spells to guard against the damage or loss of the heart. And in one case, the spell is imploring the heart not to betray its owner during the weighing ritual by telling lies in the presence of the god. Scribes were responsible for generating individualized versions of the Book of the Dead. The length of the scrolls varied from as little as 1 meter to as much as 40 meters. Due to the fact that these scrolls were found in tombs, 
People living in the Middle Ages were aware of their existence and formed the presumption that they had some kind of religious significance. After translating one of these manuscripts in the year 1842, Carl Richard Lepsius came up with the phrase Book of the Dead. This was in response to his effort. Many people believe that the Papyrus of Annie, which was discovered in Luxor in 1888 and is now housed in the British Museum, is the best known example to date. The Papyrus of Annie is now on display there, but discoveries of this type are happening far less often these days. The Saqqara Necropolis was an important section of the ancient Egyptian metropolis of Memphis, and it is home to a variety of pyramids, notably the Step Pyramid of Djoser. It is often believed that Imhotep, Chancellor to Pharaoh Djoser, was responsible for the design and construction of this pyramid. Imhotep was subsequently made famous as the monster in the film The Mummy. In spite of the fact that rubbers broke into storage vaults and caused extensive damage to the monument during the Egyptian protests in 2011. Saqqara was nevertheless listed as a World Heritage Site by UNESCO in 1979. Archaeologists have found a large number of tombs, antiquities and mummies at the location throughout the course of their excavations there over the years. In 2018, for instance, researchers unearthed a unique golden burial mask in addition to several dozen catches of mummies. For instance, in the year 2020, they made a discovery that included many sarcophagi that were hermetically sealed along with sculptures depicting a variety of gods. In March of 2022, archaeologists made an exciting discovery at a location known as the Cemetery of Ancient Animals. They unearthed five graves that dated back 4,000 years. They discovered inside these tombs a total of 250 wooden sarcophagi that had been decorated and contained complete corpses, in addition to 150 statuettes portraying various deities. In addition to it, there was a collection of bronze pots, a sistrum, and a number of other percussion instruments used for cosmetic purposes. They said that the papyrus scroll, which they discovered inside of one of the sarcophagi, was around 9 meters in length and included a portion of the Book of the Dead that was written in hieroglyphics. It was taken to the research facility of the Egyptian Museum in Cairo so that more investigation could be performed on it. After undergoing extensive maintenance in the form of cleaning and mending, it was determined that the papyrus measured 16 meters in length. And now, a team of scientists has shown without a shadow of a doubt that the scroll in question does in fact contain spells taken from the Book of the Dead. According to Waziri, the papyrus will be shown to the general public for the very first time at some point in this year, in conjunction with the inauguration of the Grand Egyptian Museum in Cairo. We hope you enjoyed this thrilling ride and gained a deeper appreciation for the rich history and cultural heritage of ancient Egypt. This artifact continues to reveal new secrets and insights, and we can't wait to see what future discoveries will bring. Thank you for joining us on this adventure, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more exciting videos on history and archaeology.